This video is on my first trip to Mexico. In Big Bend, we crossed the river to Boquillas, and it was a wonderful day. I think I was so excited that I shot all the video in portrait mode, so it's not going to look the same as the other videos. But that's just how excited I was. I didn't realize what I was doing. So we had to walk down this little path down to the Rio Grande to catch our boat because we were going to cruise over to Mexico. My new friend Mike, Mark, that I met at the campground was going over with me. I had mentioned that I wanted to go and he had not made up his mind whether he wanted to go or not, but he jumped in and made the cruise with me. So, and also today, they were having a birthday party over there. So they're here on the bank taking all the band equipment over. They were having a big party, setting up the equipment at a restaurant, the one that we picked to eat at. So we got to listen to the band. There's Mark taking his video. The um, first song they sang was way down there yonder on the Chattahoochee, which is funny since we're from back home we're near close to the chattahoochee so here we are waiting you pay five dollars a person for a round trip cruise over to mexico here we are taking our boat over to mexico my first time in mexico i didn't get to go when i was in yuma i didn't get to go to algodon so i was excited that they had this crossing in big bend national park so it was a short little trip over to the other side. Once we get over to the other side, you see every, everybody standing around over there to either, you can hire them to take you up to the little village or you can ride a burrow up to the little village. But we told them no, that we wanted to walk. It's a short little walk, um, maybe a half a mile up to the village, a nice little hike. So here we are, we're in Mexico now. We take some video here. We have to video the horse in the water like we've never seen a horse in the water. Of course, he's in international water. He looks like he's, let's see, he looks like he is closer to the United States, I think, than Mexico. So after we watch the horse for a little bit we started our walk up to Boquillas. Boquillas is a little village here on the bank that is about 200 miles from the closest town over on the Mexican side. So um, they're cut off. They're isolated. They have solar for power. They, they count on the business from the tourists coming over from Big Ben. So these this boat rides, these borough rides, these car rides up to the village is part of their their economy. Then you have you have children that's running out here on the road trying to sell you souvenirs. Once you get up to the village, there's a couple of shops that you can buy souvenirs and these are the only things you're allowed to take back over to the United States. And here is here are some of the children with their souvenirs. They were climbing on the burrows and all and playing with them, but there's all the burrows waiting to take people up. A lot of people rode the burrows up. So here we are coming up on the village. Here's one of the little sh little shops. There was a couple little shops up there. Then we arrived at a restaurant. <laughs> It's to me though.
I couldn't have picked a better experience for my first trips to Mexico <laughs> with my new friend Mark and a great meal and we came over when there was a birthday party so we got to listen to the band a few minutes couldn't have picked I, I couldn't have gone on a cruise couldn't have gone to a resort and had any better of a time great day we're walking back to the United States to get on our cruise ship. Mark got a stick so he won't fall on the <laughs> trip. Now we're ready to depart on our cruise ship back to the United States so we can go to the hot springs. Fit me? Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I like that one. How about this one? That? Beautiful. Yeah, take that one. Watch your careful hands. All right. How many times a day? Quanto, uh, back and forth. I lost the kind. I lost the kind. Since the closest place to shop over there on their side is 200 miles, they come across the river to go up. I think they said they travel a couple of mile, a couple of hours over here to shop for supplies that they take back across the river. So that was kind of interesting seeing them get the supplies to take back across the river. They they were they had loads and loads coming down the bank of supplies. Here they are coming down the trail with more supplies. So, learned a lot today and had a really great time. I just, I can't say enough about how great a time we had. It was just a fun little trip. So then we um, go back up the trail to, we have to show our passports to get back. We didn't have to show them to go over, but we have to show them to get back back into the United States, um, I was disappointed because you put your passport in a kiosk and customs calls you on the telephone to ask you, did you bring anything back and all, but they don't um, do a stamp here at Boquias at this crossing anymore, so I didn't get my first stamp on my passport. That was one thing that I was looking forward to was get it my passport stamp so here we are going back to the car we're going to the hot springs mark's first trip to the hot springs so we had two great trips this day okay like and subscribe talk to you later bye